Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Vintage Survival. We've skipped a little bit of uh, recording time because of technical issues with my steering wheel, but we're back. <clears throat> and we have picked up a new pickup truck and a log trailer to go behind it because I got tired of oh listen to that rumble I love it I got tired of fighting tree islands in the middle of uh, fields so I decided to do something about it come on go away oh well, maybe I'll have to use it to drop it Whoa, whoa, I didn't mean to actually pick that up. I just wanted to knock them down. So now i got to move these back in. Ignore that use of super strength. <laughs> so yeah, I've been cleaning up some tree islands. And, um... Going since about 4 a.m. game time. The first few loads took me a bit because I wasn't using this equipment. I was using tractors and trailers and whatnot. But it's all good. Got enough money to buy these, which was about nine grand total. And been going at it ever since. I did have a tractor finishing with a worker, hired worker, finishing up on a contract that was actually what prompted this in the first place is I was fighting with course play so we're gonna go ahead and accept the completion of that contract and I do have all these bailing to do I'm gonna probably do most of it off camera because we just it's just too much bailing I might even give up a few of these because there's just so much and I don't know that I'll have time to do them I did think about grabbing this as well. Field 55 should be nearby. Oh, it's a big one. That's a really big one for our little fertilizer spreader. Uh, but yeah, you can see 147, 142, 186, which I keep having to draw these custom fields. I'm kind of getting annoyed with this map because of that. Almost every field, like this one, 186 here, course play generated across 186, 187, 188, and 198. It took in that whole big old chunk before drawing this, that uh, custom field. And here is our cultivation tractor. This is where the tree island was. And it looks funky because I couldn't plow it all up. That's literally not part of the field believe it or not doesn't matter though we've done what needed done and we're gonna send this guy back to the farm all right and we're gonna drive the truck back Now there's, I'm actually debating canceling all of those grass work contracts, except for the one that we've already started. And the reason for that is right there. Harvester. If we look in the contracts, there's a lot of harvesting contracts. Now, the money is not as good as the bailing. Let's face it. The bailing is where the money is at on this map for contracts. However, the bailing is very time-consuming. And with the speed that we're going through this, it's not super rewarding because contracts go across many days so that's to be taken into account 
Now, sugar beet, cotton, we can't do either of those. Cotton, no, cotton, no, cotton, no. Wheat, so 37 we could do. 47. 71. So 37 is right here. 47, well, there's 71. Who knows where 47 is at? These field numbers are all over the place. It's another downside to this map. It makes it really hard to figure out where stuff is at sometimes. Am I just blind? It should stand out pretty easily because it should be in yellow. 45 is there. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. I do not see 47. Did I misremember the number? Always possible. 47. Oh, it's barley. That's why I'm looking at the wrong color. So barley is going to be the darker brown like that. Right there. 47 would be a good one. Along with uh, 37 here. Uh, so I'm thinking we'll grab both of those. So 37. Accept. 47. Accept. 71 maybe. There's a lot of cotton. Now, <laughs> we had talked about previously about getting a nice vintage cotton harvester. And I'm going to show you, or well, rather just tell you, that it ain't going to happen because I tried it on another save and it's broken. It does not work correctly. When you, here, I'll, I'll just show it to you. Um, we're going to pause the time while we go over this. So, purchase. It is... Oops, under here. It's the MTZ pack, I believe it was called. Keep scrolling. Alright. Okay, L, M... Yeah, MTZ pack. So, in addition to a lot of it being in Russian, at least I think it's Russian, um, this thing, right? Hold on, oops. No, this thing. So this thing here, this MTZ 80X, there should be a regular 80X somewhere also, right here. These combine with this to become a two-row cotton harvester. Great, right? Except for when I connect, the back wheels just disappear and the thing flops on its butt. Because it's broken. It does not work correctly. Um, now... It's really unfortunate because I did use this in FS19, and it was awesome. I used it on Lucas Island, I believe it was. And I, I would like to have used it again, but with it being broken, not a lot I can do. So yeah, that's where we're at with that. So many mods. <laughs> I don't remember this. I don't remember installing that at all. 
Is it a plow or is it a cultivator? Let's go have a look in the plows category. John Deere chisel plow, 6,000. We're probably going to have to pick that up because uh, we need a plow. So the other one must be a cultivator. So we got the 100 chisel at 3.7 meters or the this one, whatever model it is. 1800 apparently. I'm going to have to have that. Yeah. Which, of course, is going to mean that I have to send somebody up there to pick it up. We're running out of space to put all of our equipment here. I'm going to have to buy some more land. Which would be a good thing to do with uh, the rest of all of this money, hey? Oh, yeah, time. All right, so I've waffled on enough. I'm going to go and get things set up, and I will see you guys in the field doing the harvest. Quick surprise for you guys. We did pick up a new piece of equipment, a very cheap, very effective root crop harvester. Now you can get different uh, headers, I guess we'll call them. They're not really a header because they're mounted underneath. Uh, pickers, I don't know what to call them uh, for it, for all the different root crops. This is a fortress. Um, and if I can drive straight, it works really good. So, you know, there was a lot of harvest come up. We can't, you know, we, we talked about the cotton thing, right? With the MTZ pack. Well, there's a harvester similar to this in the MTZ pack as well, but it also has issues. I tested it out off camera, and <clears throat> it doesn't have the tire disappearing issues, but it just doesn't seem to work. Now, I don't know if there's supposed to be some kind of extra attachment to go with it or whatever, but it, it didn't do what I expected it to do. And I couldn't find any header attachments or anything in the pack, and... I gave up on it pretty quickly because I had already been looking at this instead. And I'm quite happy with this. It was actually a little cheaper than the one in the MTZ pack. And it's working really good. And eventually I plan on having all the headers for it, I guess. You know, depending on what contracts come up. The headers are pretty cheap. Uh, how cheap, you ask? Well, if that would load, uh, four grand a piece. So we're using the sugar beet header right now. You can see right there, one owned. But you got carrot, red beet, parsnip, and potato. Plus harvester itself. So that's 26,000. These are 4,000 a piece. I purchased one. We're at 30,000. Just the harvester, assuming there are headers for it, but just the harvester for the MTZ pack was 36,000. So. Yeah, I'd say we came out much better off. At any rate, uh, the bailing is done. That's why it's 3 o'clock in the afternoon. <clears throat> when I last saw you, I think it was like 11. Woo! 
We're full already. Wow. That was a lot faster than anticipated. Um, <clears throat> what was I trying to say? Oh, yeah. Um, so, the wheat harvest is still ongoing because both the harvester and the unloading vehicle, which is the new truck with my red trailer, both keep crashing into stuff. And I don't get a message because... I, you know, I don't get the AI workers block message because reasons. I don't know why. They just sit there costing me money. So whenever I think about it, I just have to go and check on them. This is a good time to do that. Okay, truck's okay. There's our guy slowly crawling his way to the straw sale point to sell this. Why didn't he turn back there? It's right over there. He should have turned. I don't know where he's going. All right, well, we'll figure that out. And, of course, are you sitting in there costing me money? No. No, he's not. But, yeah, he keeps running into the fence. So, apparently, two headlands was not enough. Unfortunately. So I don't know how this is going to end up working out in the end. I'm pretty frustrated by it. Might just have to take over and do it myself. Once I finish the beet harvest. But this little thing's pretty cool. All told. Alright, I'm gonna maybe stick you guys on a little bit of a time lapse <coughs> to uh, get us through. He got here. I don't know exactly how he got here, and I don't really care. Let's turn our HUD back on, bring up our controls, and on the engine. Pull forward a little bit. Unload the bales. Bring them over. And drop them. And reset. Put into operating position. And now we just got to send this guy back to the farm. So, an extra 2400 on top of the contract payment, which we will grab now. That's a good day's work right there. <clears throat> Does he crash? Oh, nope. All right, so we'll leave him be. Fix the harvester again. I was kind of hoping, you know, that he'd stop crashing into the fence. Is there any settings I can tweak to fix that?
Only turning on field is activated. Turn that on. Let's uh, save the game there. Let's see if that fixes it. We'll get him. We'll get him started on the next path. Should be lined up close enough. We'll see if that helps. All right, back to this. Obviously, I had screwed up here. I wasn't paying attention to set both of those to the same thing, intending to come in and set this later, which I didn't do. But I've done it now. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Whoops. And we're burning time. And this guy's headed off. I've got him going towards straw purchase right now, just to get him close. But I'm going to have to stop him and record a path into a sale point that I don't have recorded yet. Uh, I won't make you guys watch that. Okay, cool. We just went past some place where they're using power tools. Yeehaw. Uh, I won't make you guys watch that. I don't really have anything for you at the moment. So we're going to just cut this for the moment right here. And I will bring you guys back when there's more action. All right. So we're just sitting here waiting for our tractor to get back and I screwed up and left the time going while I was recording the auto drive route so blew through a little over an hour of game time whoops um, so we're just gonna pause the time until he gets back um, yeah and I have dogs misbehaving isn't that right, Diesel Boy? Are you being naughty? Are you being naughty? Please stop that, okay? You go play with your siblings? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so we're we're waiting on on that to get back. Uh, let's see what else. This truck is on its way back. Oh, that's funny. It's behind our tractor. They're kind of convoying together. And they just rammed that car. <laughs> that's great. Uh, the truck had some problems getting into its sail point the turn was just a little too wide and it clipped the law equipped uh, clipped the wall can i speak today trying to get in so we're gonna have to fix that for its next run and honestly i wish i had a second truck because they're so much faster but we'll, we can get this parked up while we're waiting oh yeah and we can turn that off
and we're just keeping an eye on the icons on the map while we clean the tractor you can see down there on the mini map you can see the little driving wheel icon steering wheel icon for an AI worker doing his thing now uh, on the bottom of the screen there you can see it says dirt 2018 etc going down real fast uh, that is the pressure washer HUD and I love it tells you what you're cleaning and how good of a job you're doing or whether you're doing the job at all like I wasn't right there until I stepped a little bit closer <laughs> the dogs are just bananas hope you guys have been enjoying the shorts about the dogs um, you know So about the time we get this parked up is about the time that uh, it'll be necessary to go and jump right back in the uh, root crop harvester there and get that job done. So we'll shut that guy off. Cool, they're working. All right, so put my pipe out because, you know, when in doubt, put your pipe out. And that should call him from over there to come and handle the unload. Is he coming? He's coming. Sweet. It's funny, he looks so fast. He's going to blow right across the crops. Nice. Nice job there, driver. Nice job. And again. Gotta love the AI. I probably don't have him set up correctly. Alright, so we'll get this unloaded and we'll get right back to finishing up this field. And as soon as we're done with this field, we'll call the episode to a close. can see we definitely have an efficiency problem here spending too much downtime waiting on the unloading vehicles to come along and do their thing so what we're gonna do to solve this in the next episode is grab two more trailers because we have three tractors and the pickup truck And then we're going to have them each have one trailer for unloading. That way, when we're doing two harvests at the same time like this, we can have what is necessary. Now, you're going to see come up there in the upper right, I'm going to have to fix the money. Because you're going to see I'm about to be charged over five thousand dollars for going too fast there's a speed camera on this map that i didn't know about so i didn't set the auto drive up to account for it there's there's a way to do this and make your auto drive vehicles go really slow but i didn't set it up to account for it and i've been getting charged this whole time without knowing it so that should come along momentarily All right, we had a brief pause there. Refill harvester.
I'm curious if that's like pulling the sugar beets back out. I, I hit it just to see. I mean, the sugar beets are still going down. Yeah, the rate's much more dramatic when you're not refilling. So it is pulling the sugar beet back out of the trailer. And refill harvester, yes. That is, that's awesome. Not really because I just crapped 76 liters of sugar beet. Look at that, 16,000. Fine. I'm going to make 16,500, round it up. And I'm certain that that's not an accurate money amount because of that and not having noticed it right away. But what do you do? So, anyway, I think that's a good place to call that here. I'd like to thank you all for watching. And as always, I will see you on the next one.